And when I say a pick me mother, I mean a mom who will seek male validation or the approval of men over the safety of their children. People are sharing their experiences on what it feels like to have a pick me mom. I'm sure you guys are going to be wondering, what is a pick me mom? In this video, you're going to be hearing everything this individual had to say about their experiences. But before we jump into what everyone had to say, this one guy came out to share his experience, which led to other people coming outside to share exactly their experience of what a pick me mom is. And I'm not going to say much. Let's just dive into the video and you're going to hear everything right here. Welcome back to the channel. My name is Princess and let's just dive right into it. You want to talk about trauma? Talk about the trauma of having a pick me mother. People don't talk about it a lot, but there, there's a specific trauma that comes with that. And when I say a pick me mother, I mean a mom who will seek male validation or the approval of men over the safety of their children. And it happens a lot more than you think. These are women who will quite literally side with a man over their children, who will prioritize the affection and attention of men over their children. And we see pick me's all the time, but what we don't know is that pick me's have babies and those babies walk away traumatized. Why? Because pick me's are more prone to putting their children in harm's way through uh, emotional emotional neglect, um, allowing physical and other forms of abuse. These things happen as a result of moms prioritizing the needs of men over their children or themselves. I highly recommend if you have a pick me parent to just examine your relationship with yourself and your relationships with romance, romantic partners and things like that, because it can show up in so many different areas of your life. And we don't want to repeat them patterns. And let me just note that a lot of women are conditioned to be pick me's because we live in a patriarchal society, obviously. But that doesn't excuse the behavior. It just is like an explanation for the behavior. If you are a pick me parent and you feel like your man needs to come first, I should watch whack you. But I'm not going to do that. But I will say, work on yourself, please. The original creator down below. But I came across this TikTok and I definitely wanted to talk about it because I do have a pick me mother. One of the craziest things about having a mom like this is that she didn't just choose men over us and like that was it like she just chose men it was so much bigger than that when i was 14 in the year of 2012 my mom randomly decided that she was going to go on a girl's trip to the bahamas for two weeks in october and she would come back the day after my 15th birthday my dad encouraged her to go have fun with her girlfriends go on this trip and on the day of my 15th birthday it was on a weekend so i slept over one of my friends houses that weekend i woke up on the day of my birthday I was scrolling through Facebook to see all the happy birthday wishes. And I came across these photos that my mom had posted from her girl's trip. So naturally I'm scrolling through. I'm like, oh my goodness, mom looks so pretty. She looks like she's having so much fun. And then I come across these photos of this man that I've never seen before. And then I see this ring that she has on her left hand ring finger. And it wasn't the ring that my dad gave her when they got married. So naturally I'm curious and I message her and like, hey mom, are you still coming home tomorrow? Like I miss you. And she was like, oh, I might not. I think there's a delay for my flight or whatever. I'll let you guys know. That was the first red flag. And then I decided to confront her and was like, who's that man in those photos that you posted? And she was like, what man? And like the man in the photos where you're wearing a ring and your name is written in a chocolate sauce dessert like who is that person and she tries to play it off like it's a man at the restaurant like someone who worked there she didn't know who it was and i wasn't buying it like i was 15 but i wasn't stupid so fast forward the next day after my 15th birthday me my brother my sister and my dad all go to my little brother's football game and my brother's dad was there too and it was chilly that day because it was like the fall and me and my sister were sitting in the car with my dad while my brother's dad was watching him play football and out of nowhere my dad gets out of the car and is like screaming and crying he takes off his hat he throws it on the ground and he is just like in such distress and this is all happening at my little brother's football game so there's a bunch of like nine ten year olds playing football there's a bunch of families around and my dad is screaming hysterically crying the first thing that runs through my head is oh my god something happened to mom the plane crashed like she's she's not alive anymore and he wouldn't tell us what was wrong fast forward later into the week like four or five days have gone by since mom was supposed to return home and we've still heard nothing we have no idea where she is what has happened and on a random wednesday morning my dad calls me my siblings into his bedroom and he's like your mother's on the phone i want to speak to you and we were like uh what so we go into the bedroom he gives us the phone 
and she tells us i'm not coming home and we were all silent we're like what do you mean you're not coming home and she goes i'm in turkey i'm not coming home turkey i thought you were in the bahamas so it turns out my mom never went on a girl's trip and she was never in the bahamas she was in turkey the whole time to meet with this man who she was talking to on facebook and she wanted to see if it was worth like actually pursuing their relationship and leaving her whole family and that's exactly what she did she was gone for three and a half years we ended up losing everything we were homeless me and my siblings that split apart we went into the system i didn't get to see my siblings for like those three and a half years that she was gone and sadly that wasn't the first or the last time that my mom had made the decision to choose men over her kids like i have another crazy story if you want to hear it and it involves her literally going to prison and ending up on news headlines because she chose a man over her family again but yeah that's what happens when you have a pick me parent specifically a pick me mom who chooses men over her kids and the kicker is she tells us to this day that we need, like need to get over what happened that she's sorry and she doesn't think she's a bad mom <clears throat> yeah gaslighting manipulative narcissist at his finest i would like to say <clears throat> that this is 100 percent facts um i have <clears throat> There was five of us total, we had two brothers and two sisters. Um, all of them have different dads except for the last two. Sorry, I'm eating lunch. But all of that is because we have a pick me mom, 100%. Um, always has been, probably always will be. Will never admit to any wrongdoing she's ever done to us growing up because she's picked a man over us several times. What is that? I'm eating, I'm over here, I'm a mess. Um, but yeah a lot of people don't talk about that and it's really 100 percent true like to this day and i feel like it's just coming up a lot recently with me um just because like i'm grieving the loss of a brother and he was 18 and i feel like none of this would have happened if she just wasn't like that and i know that's a lot to put on a person but i genuinely feel like none of this would have happened if she had at some point or at some point in her life chooses <clears throat> to like work on herself and actually do the work and like you know aside from her being an addict and all um but that's probably not never gonna change um <laughs> but yeah it's there's a lot that comes with that i can explain a time where sorry we she was fighting for this man's attention my one my youngest brother and sister's dad and he was mad and he knew he knew he fully knew that he could like manipulate her in that way um and he had tried to strand us because we were driving it was like a road trip um we were like in arizona i want to say like around flag stuff i'm not even sure at this point i was pretty young but he knew and he like straight up stopped in the middle of nowhere and was like i pay i take you home or i take them home i'm not taking both of you home mind you there was four of us in the car me my brother my little brother my little sister my other little sister and he was like you pick i take them home and i leave you here in the middle of nowhere or i take you home and i leave all four of them here that was probably like one of the most traumatic things of my life <clears throat> just like fighting to like be like stay together and that was probably one of the only times that this ended up being a story that she picked us but obviously like that is one of the only times and i mean only times where we were put in a situation where she chose us over them and that's not even like a good situation she was still continuing to be like please don't leave me obviously like don't strand us anywhere um we ended up getting out of that um but <clears throat> the amount of picking my mom has been throughout my entire life with different men just is fucking like ridiculous it really is and then he like when i saw this the other day i was just like oh my god that is exactly what that is she she was forever that person like forever that person nothing really to gain from that or like positive coming out of that sorry kind of just brought that up for me so in september of 2016 my father ended up getting arrested and sent to federal prison and then a couple months later in december 23rd 2016 uh, we ended up packing everything that we own and moved to Tennessee. When we first got here, my mother told me that I was going to get a job. She denies it and gaslights me to this day. She did not say it, but my story has not changed. Um, 
When we first moved here, she told me that if I did not get a job when I turned 16, that she was going to kick me out of the house and I was going to be homeless. Because she said that she was going to need help paying the bills and stuff. And I was just like, okay, you know, whatever. I went and I got a job. I ended up being able to save almost like no money whatsoever until it got to the point where I was lying to my mother how much I, I had actually gotten paid that week so I could save money in my bank account and move out. But anyways, um, she cut hair, but like she didn't do enough hair to the point where... She was getting like a steady income. She maybe only made like a thousand dollars a year or like five hundred dollars a year or something or at least that's what she would tell me. Well, I would be stuck home all the time. I hardly ever saw my mom. I never knew where my mom was until I went on Facebook and I saw that my mom had went with her boyfriend at the time to all these just extravagant places. And it made me wonder because like she was always complaining about not having money and how I had to help more to pay bills and all this other stuff. As it turns out, she was taking my sexual abuse story and going to these child advocacy centers and using my story to get money and stuff and was using it to fund her little vacations that she would take for like weeks at a time and I would have to stay home and feed my siblings, cook meals for my siblings and I didn't know where she was. Guys, you heard everything this individual had to say about the experiences and their different experiences that their mom has shown them or the attitude that the parents, their mothers displayed. And it doesn't even just end there. There are other people who came out to share their experience of having a pick me dad. But I mean, like some people are just like, oh, the fathers, they, they would always, you know, misbehave. So, but a mother is supposed to be present. At least you're the one that carried that child in your tummy for nine months. You're supposed to be present in your child's life. Your child is supposed to be your power. It's more than anything in life. You're supposed to place your child, place your child above any other thing in life. But to think that some women would choose to neglect their children and pursue after men or not even listen to their children's need or place a man or any other thing above their children, I would never understand. I'm not saying, oh, I mean, they shouldn't have a life, but I mean, you can hear the situations that individuals that these individuals shared and it's absolutely heartbreaking what some of them shared. And, you know, I'm grateful sort of, okay, that they've overcome it because for you to be able to talk about your upbringing or your childhood experiences, it means like you're in a better place for you to be able to come out and just talk about it. Anyway, guys, let me know what you think. Have you, do you know anyone who um, has experienced this? Let me know. Have you experienced this? Let me know. And I will see you guys in my next video. Bye.